Today is Wednesday, May 17th, and it is also the day that our first vending machine gets delivered. So it's a very exciting day. I got my coffee. I'm gonna do my meditation, prayers, writing, journaling, reading, all the things I do in the morning. And I'm gonna document the day because it's gonna be a different one. We've been waiting almost two years for this moment. So uh, I just pray everything goes smoothly. There's no problems, that the clients are happy. And thankfully it's only a 20 minute drive. So it's a very close location. So that's good in case we forget anything or need to do anything. So I'll take you guys with me today and you'll you'll see every step of the way what this process is like especially for our first machine i showered i blew out my hair and then i straightened it now i'm gonna go downstairs have some breakfast and go over the list of where to start and then start working i gotta make the most use of this time that i have make sure that i'm prepared and have everything ready to go so and i don't want to have to rush also just a side note i'm not gonna have any makeup on until later so I try not to wear makeup unless I have to. I mean, I don't really ever have to. I don't think anyone does. I think everyone's beautiful. But um, I don't know. I just try to, for my skin, just go natural. You know what I mean? Okay, let's start. No procrastinating today. Don't got time for it. Not today. And here is what I have on my list so far in no particular order. I have to get 12 of each product and put them in containers so I don't like have to bring in boxes and everything. I want it to be concise. So I'm going to put it in containers based on the row that it's in. So then it'll be easy to fill the machine because you fill the machine there as opposed to driving with it because things move around and it's just not good. Number two, the list of what to pack and bring with me to the location. For example, so far I have Windex because of the you know, glass, I wanna clean it. The key, the contract, the deep clean the inside of the machine, program the numbers for the MDB, I think that's what it's called, I always forget. The MDB numbers um, on the website and then also the names of the snacks on the website so that way when someone purchases something, I know exactly what they purchased. So when we have to refill it, we know exactly what to bring. And that's all for the MDB. And then I have to do the prices, confirm the prices, put them in there as well, put the prices on the machine, and then download Zelle, because that is what the delivery driver has. My brothers come here at 2.30, and then the delivery driver at 3.30. So I definitely have plenty of time, but I want to just make sure. Right now I'm listening to a webinar for the website of the card reader so I can successfully put in the information so we can track our inventory properly, which is very, very, very important. You will see all of the current inventory information that you have. All of the prices and data is now logged into the card reader website system. And now I'm going to change it for the pricing in the machine. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm feeling very anxious. I'm extremely anxious. I don't even wanna eat, my head hurts. I just wanna like get everything done. But all right, I'm gonna do the pricing now and then move on to the next thing. Now I'm gonna put all the snacks together by row. So when we have to stock, it'll be very simple. So I got these ready to go. I'm gonna slide them down. All right, off the eat. So this is the first layer because this is the second row and then these are for the top row. It's perfect, Lit. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Bam, boom, boom, chica, ba. The next thing I'm going to do is put these cute little stickers. These are cookies in the baggies. 
These are the first time I like made these stickers, so our name is on it, but like really, really, really small. I would uh, make it a little bigger next time, but they're so cute. And it's done. Aren't they cute? I just printed out the contract. Um, this was signed on March 31st, 2023. So we're a little bit behind. Everything kind of happened, but that's okay. But I'm gonna officialize the start date of like, so we have a renegotiation in three months and we also like start with the payments from today, moving forward. So I'm gonna write that on the contract so we can both sign it. And now I am going to clean the machine which i've been waiting for and then for the e-row there's seven slots and for some reason it's not like registering correctly so i have to test it to get the mdb number because if i don't know the mdb number i'm not going to know how to track it and know what to refill so i really want to figure that out also yesterday a couple of these rows were stuck but i asked my dad to fix it I think he did, but it's really hard with my nails. So for me to change the price for the row E to check, I have to change, I could order it now, but it's already programmed to the price. Um, so testing it, I wanna see how it is with like 25 cents rather than like $3. I have to use my phone to test it. So now it's time to clean. I don't know why it sounded like that. And I don't know why I'm so excited, but you ever get excited to clean? Or just like clean fun things. <laughs> Doesn't, I don't know. So it's pretty much clean. It looks great, smells great, but slight change of plans. So the delivery driver said he's gonna be here in like 20 minutes. My brother is not even gonna be here until like after that, I guess. Um, we can't move it to the location until four. So that gives us like an hour. The scheduled pickup time is 3.30. That's what I've been mentally preparing all day long. So I guess he's gonna take it and then we'll just meet him there. I don't know, I don't know. I cannot watch the machine come off the truck. I couldn't watch it go on the truck and I can't watch it come off the truck. Very scary. So I'm not going to. the first fixing of the machine the spirals were like switched and he noticed it and he switched it and he fixed it so we're almost done build the machine we fixed a few things and we tested all the pricing so we are good to go we're, all good. we're good to go it's so pretty we're gonna take a couple pictures write a few things and then get the contract signed and then we're gonna be out yep. a few more minutes this is really cool. It 
I'm home, the machine is there, and I'm here. I feel like I, I was telling Frank, my brother, I was like, I feel like I just dropped my kid off at school for the first time. It just feels really surreal, but I'm happy. Like, I can't even explain it fully, all the, I'm just relieved. I'm really relieved. But there's still like a lot to do and they want a water uh, vending machine, a, a beverage machine. So that's what I'm going to work on next. <laughs> I'm like, I'm just going to take a quick break for like a day. And it's like, maybe not. I just got to keep it moving. But yeah, it's the first one, hopefully of many. But um, I'm just grateful, happy. And uh, we'll see. Like I was telling my brother, more will be revealed. We're still trying things out and um, that's how we're gonna learn and go forward with this. So one day at a time, we'll see what happens next. Walk in Lily, then I'm gonna eat dinner and then like take a breather and then respond to people because I haven't texted anybody back today. Because <laughs> it's been crazy, but good. It's all good. This is me after a long day. It's like nine o'clock now. I'm soaking my toe because I had a toe thing. It's in another video. Anyway, it has been quite the journey and just like at a roller coaster of emotions. And I just feel so I got to not obsessed with checking the sales because there was two things purchased since we left and I just don't want to obsess over it but I I realize I'm gonna write it out and journal and all that fun stuff anyway long story short I think I have like in lack of a better word PTSD from when I had my clothing company for seven years because every time I switch to collection I'm like this is the one people are gonna love and they're just gonna buy it all up and it never really worked out for me that way uh once in a blue but not really um so it was always like disappointment uh spend a lot of money like I know there's different ways to do like market research and all that stuff so it just makes me scared that it's gonna happen to this as well and I don't think I can mentally <laughs> mentally do that I think it's different though that it's out and it, that's something I've said from the get-go because my clothing company was mostly online and when we did go out to things most of the time I did well but I wanted to create something physical that people can physically see and physically touch and it's in the real world not on the world wide web so I'm hoping that this is just different a different experience because like I went, I got the high, right? It's done, it's placed, it's good, it's great, all that stuff. And then it's also like with just how my brain works. And then I have a down. So now I'm on the down. And uh, I don't, I'm like second guessing all the snacks and oh, what if it doesn't work out? Like what if it doesn't sell? But I know the end of the day, my plan is to just, find out what people like, and then cater to that, to switch. I'm not set in stone. None of those snacks are set in stone. If people want something else, then that's what I'm gonna put, okay? So that's just where I am right now. I'm gonna go to bed really early because I'm very tired. So this was a great day. So everyone's so nice there. Good night, thanks for watching. More to come. So we'll see what happens and I'll document it. It's 1030. I'm in bed. I'm about to go to sleep, but I was just trying to change my thoughts and I was just thinking about the Lord. And this is really like what I've been working on, like repeat verses more. And this is the one that I've been uh, speaking this week and I'm going to continue because I love it. So before I was on kind of like a low. And now I'm changing my thoughts around because I'm so proud and like I'm just so happy and I don't know, we'll just like see what's going to happen next. 1 Corinthians fifteen fifty eight. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves 
fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. I don't got time to break all this down right now, but I will just say I love, it says stand firm. And I'm just going to stand firm and let nothing move you because the enemy wants me to spiral in like the negative thoughts, spiral in the doubts, in the fears, in the anxieties, in the future. No, I have to pause and like just thank God and just stand firm in my faith. And if it doesn't work out, then that means I'm closer to something that's going to work out. So, like, I don't know the plan. So I'm just here for the ride, you know? So I'm going to stand firm. I'm not going to let nothing move me. I'm just going to continue <sighs> my work to the Lord, you know what I mean? So that's what we out here doing. Well, that's what I'm doing. And then I'm going to be out. Okay. Good night. <laughs>